This is the game that started my channel back in 2006, so that's around 17 years ago. That's a long time ago. Uh, so, I used to play this game online for a couple of years, and uh, I stopped for a long time, and then I played it again sometime in 2017 for a few matches for a couple of games, but then I stopped and I focused on other stuff, and ever since then I was thinking I should try to get back into these games because it's what started my channel such a long time ago, and I finally got it working, and here we are playing uh, SVC Chaos also known as SNK vs Capcom Chaos. So it's a mix of uh, characters from the King of Fighters video games with some Street Fighter characters. And the cool thing is that all of these Street Fighter character sprites are redrawn in the SNK style, so they look different. So I have used a couple of characters in this game. I am not the best player, I'll admit that, but uh, I know a little bit about the game. But I mean, it's been... It's six years since I played this game, so I'm kind of getting back into it. And this is like my first set of few matches versus this one guy who challenged me. Like, I basically got my button set up, got my video options all set up, and I got a challenge. I thought, okay, we'll play, we'll test out the connection. And uh, here we are. So, I do like Hugo, but he is such a huge target in this game. And I do like grapplers like uh, Zangief and also T Hawk. Mostly Zangief and Street Fighter, but uh, when it comes to this game, I do like Hugo. But in King of Fighter games, for some reason, I'm not too fond of grapplers in that game. But I think I did like Clark just a bit, but you know, when it came to these SNK style fighting games, I kind of liked Hugo in this game. I mean, I did use Hugo a little bit in uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, but I'm like maybe one of the worst Hugo players, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so, here we go. I'm trying to remember all the stuff about Hugo, or at least the stuff I can remember. I think maybe I should have spent more time uh, relearning all the mechanics and my character's short combos, max combos, and stuff like that. But uh, I didn't really get a chance to because once everything was set up, I got an invite to play, so I thought, that's fine, we'll just jump into the match and just learn as, you know, we're playing and getting beat down, in a way. So, I do like Hugo, I also like um, Violent Ken, I like uh, the boss version of Mr. Karate, uh, Geese Howard is really strong in this game. So the person I'm playing is, uh, what's his name, Factor, he's using the uh, secret character version of Yori, this is uh, Orochi Yori I guess, so he does move faster, and he's got I think a uh, different uh, exceed move. And I believe uh, different super moves. I can't remember, but I think so. But the main thing is that Orochi Iori uh, moves a bit faster. Alright, so let's go again. Here we go. Okay, so Hugo's uh, standing forward weak punch has that long reach slap like that one. It's really good, but if you miss, you have a lot of recovery frames and uh, yeah. But it's a pretty good move to use as a poke from a certain range. And why did that not even grab him? That was weird. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm just kind of getting overwhelmed with uh, Orochi Iori's speed here. He can rush me down pretty good. That last hit is an overhead. So he's got max ability. Uh, the max ability here lets you chain special moves together to create some really long combos. Uh, with some characters, they're simple, other characters, they're a bit harder, but the timing is very specific in between the animations of specific attacks, but uh, I'm not that great at it, but uh, I think I can do a few of them. But anyways, I guess for the uh, sake of the video, we'll just kind of play and kind of uh, just see what happens. So that is the guard cancel dash. There's two ways to do that. When you're blocking, it'll consume meter. If you push forward forward, it consumes a little amount of meter. If you push uh, B and C, then it consumes a bit more meter. The difference is uh, it's easier to do B and C compared to forward forward. So it depends on, I guess, your, uh, your skill level, your timing and so on. And I just got cornered. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to uh, try again. But this time, let's see. 
Um, oh, you know what? Oh, I really love this boss character. I like this character. Okay, here we go. So this is the boss version of Mr. Karate. He has different normal attacks, uh, slightly different special moves, but his weakness is that he has no normal attacks that can cancel into special attacks. The only way he can combo is in max mode. That's pretty much the only way. And oh, that was a big combo, big damage. There we go, there's the unblockable, got you. Low damage, but it does push him towards the corner. There's the uppercut. He actually has uh, two uppercuts, one with the uh, punch button, and the other one is a multi-hitting one with down forward, down forward and kick, but that one does not have invincible frames like the punch version, which is a standard show where you can input. All right. So this character, I do remember a bit more than Hugo, that move, wow, that really pushed me to the corner. I need to build up my meter uh, without consuming part of it with uh, guard cancel dashes uh, because I need to enter max mode. That's when I actually can do a bit more damage to get some combos. There we go. There we go. Oh, that does not actually work on that character. Oh, okay, I think it's because his hitbox is probably a bit too small, so uh, that special attack I did with down forward weak punch actually went through his body, maybe? Yeah, that was strange. Like, normally it does work in the corner of some characters, but I guess for this character it's not gonna work, so that's... Yeah, okay, so I need to try to find a different way to link that uppercut in max mode. Maybe it was just the timing, I'm not sure, but I could try it again. There we go, overhead. A low attack. And let's see here. Oh. The game speed in this game is kind of a little bit quick. I'm trying to get used to it. I mean, it's been oh, such a long time, 60 years. <laughs> oh, there we go. Good damage. Throw that. Charge a little bit. Yeah, he actually can charge his meter. There's the overhead. There's the unblockable. Go into... Oh, again, it didn't work, but that's okay. We'll try to get this juggle combo here. Uppercut. Then fireball. Oh, I actually did it a bit too early. Have to uh, charge it and then release it. Let's see. We'll dash in and then grab. And that's it. He's done. Okay. The only way I'm going to burn meter with this version of Mr. Karate is by doing the guard cancel dashes, um, which is useful. But uh, we'll try to build a meter in the meantime because I need to enter max mode to actually do some combos. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Oh wow, no follow up. Yeah, I kind of forgot there. <laughs> it's been a while. I'm getting used to this. Then go uppercut, there we go. There we go, got you. Try to push him into the corner. Back up bit. Oh wow, we traded I think, in the air. There, got you with the flying kick. There's the juggle, uppercut. Then the juggle again. And then, oh wow, I, I messed that up, okay. It's been six years, I'm getting used to it. You know, I'll get the timing down like before. Wow, it's been a long time, man. So long. He's gonna go Shinokuma. I guess he got tired of losing with his favorite character. Okay. So, Shinokuma, I'm trying to remember. Um, let's see. What was special about this character? Oh, right, okay, okay. So, his super fireball, his air super fireball, and also his super uppercut do not consume super meter. I don't know why they did that in this game. It's, a really weird decision so I'm trying to relearn how to deal with that I guess this guy's gonna play kind of lame it's okay I want to learn to kind of figure out how to counter this spammy boring method all right that's fine okay I guess we'll do uh, guard cancel dashes oh we traded wow I got a counter hit okay 
No, no uppercut. Try to keep him in the corner so he can't get out. I'm trying to do an uppercut at the end. Damn. Okay. Nope. We'll try. Wow. The right fireball has invincible frames on startup. Okay. Gotta juggle. He's trying to do Raging Demon, but he doesn't know the inputs are slightly different in this game compared to Street Fighter games. Okay, push him into the corner. Oh damn, the Masogi, that is unblockable and extremely hard to dodge in this game. Okay, we'll just do the Exceed. Mine is also unblockable, but it does not have invincible frames. Um, he had low health, but I want to guarantee I got the win. So I had to use it. All right, so here we go. Okay. Okay, we'll try this. Oh damn, okay. I, yeah, my triple fireball still has really long startup, so I cannot use it at long range to beat his uh, super fireball. We'll just do jump in mix-ups, overheads, and low attacks. There we go. Low attack. Oh, you blocked that one, nice. And he's going to run away and throw super fireballs. Yep, that's what he's going to do. That's not how you play Shinokuma in this game. That's just kind of lame and kind of spammy. That's not how you use him. Anyways. Get him in the corner. We'll juggle. Try to get some more damage in there. Oh, damn. Wrong input. That's okay. He's almost down. We'll just taunt him. Yeah. Alright, so that's it.